Hey, Psych2Goers. We're so glad to see you here. And we want to thank you for supporting us. Your ongoing help, sharing, and liking has helped Psych2Go continue our mission to make psychology accessible to everyone. Now, let's begin, shall we? Which personality type is prone to depression? Some people believe that your personality predicts almost everything in your life. So have you ever wondered which personality type might be most prone to depression? Well, psychology researchers and experts over the years have too. A quick disclaimer though, although there are certain personality types more vulnerable to depression than most, research has yet to find a clear and concrete association between personality and depression. So just because you do have these certain personality traits doesn't mean that you will develop depression, only that you may be at risk of it. With that said, here are some of the personality types found to be most prone to depression. Introversion. According to a 2018 article by NeuroHealth Associates, people high in introversion and neuroticism, two traits from the big five personality theory, are most likely to experience negative thoughts. Introverts in particular had a greater tendency to recall more negative events as found in a study by Dr. Florin Dolkos. On top of that, introverted men were found to be at higher risk for depression than introverted women because they tended to not only recall more negative memories, but lacked the opportunity to express the resulting negative feelings and gain the needed social support to recover. Example, neuroticism. Going back to our last point, People who were high in both introversion and neuroticism were also found to be more vulnerable to anxiety and depression. Neuroticism is defined by the National Institute of Health as a trait disposition to experience negative affects, including anger, self-consciousness, irritability, and emotional instability. This means that those with this personality trait are naturally more emotionally sensitive and more prone to emotional fluctuations, which can make it harder for them to bounce back from negative experiences. For example, they may take breakups harder or get discouraged from their goals more easily because of their overly emotional nature. If you find this video relatable and helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Now, moving on to the next point. Creativity and artisticness. There are plenty of stories about tortured artists who were brilliant masters of their craft, but struggled mentally, such as Vincent van Gogh, Sylvia Plath, and more recently, Kurt Cobain and Robin Williams. And true enough, most creative and artistic types have been found to be more deeply emotional, ruminative, and self-critical the most. In an article for the Cambridge Handbook of Creativity, psychology professors and researchers Paul Sylvia and James Kaufman found evidence in current research that some domains of creativity, for example, creative writing, are indeed associated with some forms of mental illness, but especially depression and bipolar disorder, overachievers and perfectionists. Similar to artistic types, People with an overachieving and perfectionist personality type tend to be more self-critical than most, which is probably what makes them more prone to depression. According to a recent study by Thomas Curran, assistant professor at the Department of Psychological and Behavioral Sciences in London, socially prescribed perfectionism can be especially debilitating because individuals believe their social context is excessively demanding, that others judge them harshly, and that they must display perfection to secure approval. His findings report that it's closely linked with anxiety, depression, and suicidal ideation. ISFPs. According to a 2009 study by Janowski and colleagues, of the 16 personality types described by the MBTI, the one found to have the highest rates of depression were ISFPs. Keep in mind, however, that correlation does not imply causation, and that the MBTI is not designed to diagnose mental health conditions like depression. What this study merely found is that among a sample of patients diagnosed with depression, the majority of them had an introverted, sensing, feeling, and perceiving personality type. It's important to understand that no particular personality type causes someone to have depression. However, understanding which aspects of our personalities may be making us more prone or more vulnerable to it may be helpful. So if you relate to many of the points we've mentioned here and are seriously struggling with depression, please reach out to a mental health care professional to get the help you deserve. If you found this video helpful, let us know by giving it a thumbs up. Until next time, and remember, you matter. Are you looking for a cuddly companion that brings positivity and mental wellness to your daily life? Get your very own sigh. The lovable plushie is here to brighten your days. It embodies the spirit of Psych2Go, and it serves as a reminder to prioritize your mental well-being. Its green leaf symbolizes growth, renewal, and the importance of self-care. 
whether it's for yourself or as a thoughtful gift for a loved one. Sai is ready to be your snuggly friend through all of life's ups and downs. Buy your Sai plushie today. Link is listed in the description box.